Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading for the month of October. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and these messages are general. So if they don't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. What do we have for Gemini in love? Gemini, love life for October. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. <laughs> we have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So it's saying someone's coming back and you should just, you should just accept that and be happy about that. <laughs> okay, Gemini, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is like clear. This is like, because I'm seeing Evan Almighty in my eye, I guess. My eyes. My spiritual eyes. <laughs> I'm seeing um, Evan Almighty. Not Evan Almighty, Bruce Almighty. Where it's like um, asking for a sign. And then that sign is like pointing like, yes. This is the one, your soulmate. Um, but at the same time, with passion and free yourself, it's telling you, yeah, go for it. But then it's saying, take back control of your life. So what I'm getting from that is don't put your whole heart into this. As in, don't lose control. Keep control of yourself. But, um, you know, embrace your love. Embrace the love. But don't lose yourself is basically what it's saying. Don't lose yourself. So, let's see what else we got for you, Gemini. Gemini. What is going on with Gemini in love? What's going on? Oop. I like that jump. I'll take that card. Moving on, we have the Eight of Cups. This is, it doesn't have to be moving on, moving on forever, like permanently. Some of you may have taken a break emotionally from a situation because that's what the Eight of Cups is about. It's about taking a break from some emotional situation, but returning, sometimes not returning, but it does mean returning to a situation later on. We have Open Up. I've never seen this card before. We have Rebuild. This is a four of pentacles. So some of you've been holding back. That's why it's saying allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But it's it's also, as I said, telling you not to just jump and do everything, not put your whole heart into it. Keep control, but be open. Okay, open up. We have rebuild. So this is connecting with the reconciliation card. Rebuilding this relationship, you know. We have change your focus, five of cups. There's been some heartache and loss. There might have been separation for some of you. Um, let me look at their energy towards you. Their energy towards Gemini for the month of October. What's their energy towards Gemini for October? Okay. Your person's in a dark place. They're in a dark place. Nine of nine of swords in the hermit. It could be them who isn't open opening up to you or hasn't been opening up to you and they need to. And they might, but their energy towards you is like they, they've got a lot of stress, there's a lot on their mind. They might be distancing themselves from you. It's probably them having this eight of cups energy, um, distancing themselves. They could be a Virgo. What's Gemini's energy towards this person during October? Some of you are wanting to release the past with this person and start new, like release any issues, work through issues. Could be a fellow Gemini, Gemini like yourself. We have the world as well. There may have been a break in this connection, like a, a, that. it could have been a long break, but you're wanting to like really release the baggage of it and start new. Some of you, why, what's the, um, the energy of this connection for October. What's the energy of this connection for October? Ace of Wands, an exciting new beginning, death card, transformation, and Ten of Cups. Wow. 
because you guys are feeling how you're feeling right now but what it's saying for october that the relationship itself is going to be an exciting new beginning it's going to be a transformation you could be dealing with a scorpio but the ace of wands it's like excitement new beginning here and the ten of cups emotional fulfillment pure happiness okay so i see you guys just being really down at the moment but i just dropped the card hold on okay i see you guys being really down at the moment but in october things are looking up okay so far let me see your main spread gemini what can gemini expect in love for the month of october what can gemini expect in love for the month of october cups again nine of cups wow the sun everything is positive in gemini -ville, okay everything's positive over here on your side amazing you could be dealing with a leo we have libra energy now wow you see that there's a the reconciliation right there that is that person on the horse coming towards you and that's their feelings so that's amazing Knight of Wands, there's a lot of passion between the both of you. Um, this person, they're going to be starting to feel more balanced and more able to deal with the situation in October. Um, they're coming towards you, Knight of Cups. This is in their emotions. There is, they have not let go of any feelings they've had for you. They're that, that reconciliation is definitely happening. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, got Leo as well, Libra, but this person seeing you as a devil. Okay, this could be them seeing you as someone who has them hooked. Okay, they feel like you are their addiction. Um, it doesn't have to be an, an unhealthy way. It could be just they're just infatuated. Okay, they definitely are tied to you. Their feelings have not gone anywhere. So, yeah, you're having a good month. You've got the the nine of cups. This person you feel that you feel they are your wish fulfillment, and we have the ten of cups. As I said, emotional fulfillment, and you're seeing this person in a really positive light. We also have the seven of swords. So someone got away. Okay, there was there's separation for a lot of you. Someone got away. Someone walked away from the situation, but that's that's obviously temporary. Because we have all these signs leading to rebuilding and opening up and them being the one and this and that. So it seems like the, the separation is not going to last. What's blocking is the seven of cups. So either one of you have a lot of options and the other one got upset about that. Or you guys are going to just be really... Sorry, the seven of cups. I'm seeing that for some of you... There may have been some high expectations. That's what's blocking. Someone expected too much from the other person for some of you. If it's not the, the whole options thing. But I just feel like anything negative that ha that's happening now doesn't really matter because in October, things are really changing. Okay, the separation is actually a blessing because it's going to really make them miss you. And then they're they're really gonna step up. So don't be mad at the separation. Um, that that brings change. Tower moment as the outcome. We got the tower card here. So something shocking happens. It could be that you never thought they would come around. It could be a tower moment that brings you guys close together. Maybe your fam. I'm getting for some of you, your families may know each other. There may be something that, that happens and you both have to be there or something um, like a get together party or something but it doesn't have to be that i do see that there may be it may be a shock to you that they come around okay why the justice card yeah 
there may have been some conflict this person may have been upset at some point yeah there was someone or multiple people upset in this situation two people in reverse here just this this person wants um if there wasn't if there was an argument this this person sorry i'm having hiccups and while talking <laughs> This person wants um, a fair resolve of this issue. For some of you, I'm getting that it's it's not with you. It's with some people outside of the relationship, like maybe family members. They had issues with. They want to make. They want it to be a fair resolution, but it could be with you, or some of you. Okay. Why the nine of cups? Yeah, some of you, you may have waited a while for them to come back. You may have thought that it would never really happen or that the relationship wouldn't really go anywhere or be or be able to heal. That's why for some of you, it may be a surprise to you when it does. Okay, let me see. Why the devil? Why the devil? Why are they seeing Gemini? Too many cards falling out. Why are they seeing Gemini as the devil? Okay. You may have really got pissed at them if you thought that they had other options. And some of you, you may have had really high expectations of them. Um, but also see them being really tied to you as well with the devil card. Why the tower? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you may have manifested this re this reconciliation. Okay. Some of you may have manifested this reconciliation because at one point we got the Knight of Cups. So at one point in reverse, they may have been rejecting you. And then suddenly that changes. You may have manifested this. This is definitely coming out of the cold. The seven of wands in reverse coming out of the cold. So it's very shocking that you guys are able to mend the relationship. It might be shocking to you. Because you may have felt like things hit rock bottom. Ugh, why can't I speak right now? You may have felt like things hit rock bottom. There might have been a blow up with family. I'm getting that a lot. There might have been an argument with family. And it may have felt like there was no coming back from it. It could have been an argument amongst the two of you. And you felt like there was no coming back from it. But there is. Coming out of the cold. Very very shocking moment for one of you. And someone may have manifested this. Okay. So let me see what we have here. It's up to you. In the near future... success and ask your angels so the success in the near future i feel is, is, is the tower moment like you're gonna be surprised at how you guys were able to heal and fix this relationship make up you know but it's up to you whether you want to be in the connection all it's saying is that this could be the one and this, this is your soulmate it's also saying don't lose yourself but embrace the love so but with those with that guidance it's still up to you okay so you can ask your angels as it says here we got the situation will improve we only got within the next few months and listen to your intuition so there's some additional messages for you you can ask your angels and get answers you know so could be a Capricorn, as I said, Leo, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here strongly. So this is what I'm seeing for you. There's going to be a reconciliation after all of that, after someone was really upset or there was a big blow up. Okay. Opening up and working on the relationship. So check your other placements if you want to know what else is coming up for you. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.